So here I'm going to teach you how to read a volume measuring device because it's very specific on how you read it. So first of all, when you pour water in any measuring device, whether it's a grad cylinder beaker or in my flask, you're going to get a curve like this, and this curve is known as a meniscus. And it's going to be a curve, and you read the bottom of the curve, you don't need to read the top of it, so you read the bottom of the curve. The other thing that is really important is that the bottom of the curve be in line with your eyes. So I have two curves over here, so which means that your eye should be right underneath this curve over here, so you can read it exactly what it's supposed to be, not above, not below. Okay, it should be exactly at the line over here. So now let's read this one over here and see what it is supposed to be. This measurement here is 30. This measurement over here is going to be then 35. This measurement here is 36, which means that the level of liquid here is just a little bit above 35. And so it could be 35 point maybe two milliliters. Okay, that is how much you can read. Now you know for sure that it is 35 milliliters, which means that is the significant figure. This number over here is considered to be insignificant, but you will still measure it because it is approximately that much. But you may read 0.2, your friend may read 0.3, and that's okay because it is not a significant number, but you will still read it, which means that when you're reading this instrument here, you have up to three significant figures. Let's read this one over here, the blue one. And this is 20 over here, so which means this is 21, 22, 23, and this is 24 over here. Now this is exactly coming at 24, which means that this is not just 24, but 24.0 milliliters. So again, you count the zero. However, usually for zeros, it's going to be exact number because you can actually measure the zero. So again, you have three significant figures and this number is actually a significant figure also, all right? So this is a true three significant figure number. Okay, let's look at another one. In this case, what I did is that you don't have any mark over here, okay, which means that just pretend this is not here. So which means you go from 20 to 30 and you don't have any measurement in the middle for it. So again, you have to approximate something. So you still have to keep your beautiful eye over here and then try to approximate how much this is going to be. So this is between 20 and 30, which means if I read about half of this, this should be about 25. And this is just a little bit above 25. So maybe I can read 27 milliliters over here. I cannot read 27.0, that would be completely wrong because I don't have gradients to measure that. So even with 27, 25 I know is true, but 27, this number is not significant. But you can read it up to 27, not 27.0. So that would be the measurement if you have a glassware like this. Let's get a little bit more specific, and this is a grad cylinder. And in grad cylinders, um, you have a little bit better marking. So here I have again two, so here is your beautiful eye. Make sure that your eye is at the meniscus. And now this one, this is eight here, so this is 8.5. <clears throat> so 0 0.5, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, so 8.9. And now you can, if you want to, you can use zero over here because the zero is absolute, okay? So this is a significant figure. So your measurement then becomes 8.90, which is fantastic because now you have three significant figures, okay, over here for your measurement. Let's look at another one here, which is for the blue line here. And so in this case, this is 8.1, 8.2. So 8.2, we are absolutely sure of but this number here, we're not quite sure of, so this is going to be our insignificant number, but this is close to 0.3, so this can be maybe eight, okay? And so now this one here, not significant, however, it is still three significant figures, so 8.28 milliliters is what my reading will be. So looking at all the measuring devices we have, you can have different varying, uh, various degrees of accuracy for your measurements. So for a grad cylinder, it's one of the best ones, which is why you tend to use grad cylinders for measuring volumes.